Basic pathophysiology of the Horner syndrome is discussed in this video. We have brainstem and uh, spinal cord up to the thoracic segments and uh, eyeball, pupillary muscle and uh, ciliary apparatus and the optic nerve which innervates into the deeper structure of the brain, superior tarsus muscle of the upper lid and let us see how the basic pathway of the sympathetic system involved in the Horner syndrome. The sympathetic fibers usually descends down from the posterior hypothalamus as a descending sympathetic pathway up to the thoracic segments where the sympathetic fiber usually emerges out from the spinal cord from thoracic to the lumbar segment. The fibers usually innervates in superior, middle and inferior cervical ganglion of the sympathetic chain from where the fibers ascends and forms a plexus around the internal carotid artery from where the multiple branches of the sympathetic uh, fibers post ganglionic sympathetic fibers innervate to the uh, dilator muscle up and superior tarsus muscle and sweat gland of the face. Here the structures are posterior hypothalamus and descending sympathetic pathway to the upper thoracic spinal cord, superior cervical ganglion from where the posterior fibers emerges out and forms the plexus around the internal carotid artery those are called carotid plexus and nerve to the sweat gland of the face and nerve to the dilator muscle so dilator muscle of the pupil and finally the nerve or branch of the post ganglionic sympathetic fiber to the tarsus muscle so this is the basic pathway which involved in the uh, Horner syndrome. Any disruption of entire pathway would lead to the Horner syndrome and Horner syndrome is a rare disorder resulting from the damage of the pre or post sympathetic fibers to the face which supplies to the face. And the main causes of the Horner syndrome or injury to the nerve, carotid artery or stroke, lesion of in the brain stem and tumor in the lung particularly upper portion of the lung which disrupt the superior cervical ganglion. Signs and symptoms of the Horner syndrome usually seen in the damaged site. The features of the Horner syndrome, the anhydrosis, reduced sweating, ptosis, dropping of eyelid, meiosis, constriction of the pupil, anhydrosis, anophthalmus, shunken eyeball and vasodilation. So vasodilation because of reduced sympathetic uh, tone. Finally these clinical features seen uh, because of disruption of the sympathetic fi fiber innervation to the superior tarsal muscle and now to the dilator pupillary muscle and sweat glands and carotid plexus.